Hey guys, how are you doing? Another video is on the way. A filmmaker alleges that the makers of Stranger Things stole his concept for the blockbuster Netflix show, and he's prepared to fight them in court. According to a complaint filed Monday, Charlie Kessler claims that brothers Matt and Ross Duffer stole the concept for the sci-fi supernatural series from his short film Montauk and a related feature picture screenplay named The Montauk Project. So let's investigate. Was Stranger Things based off stolen idea? Let's find out. Number 1. Plot lines that are similar. A young boy goes missing. A cop with a haunted past vows to find him. A mysterious conspiracy at a nearby military base is conducting secret experiments on children. And a monster is created by a portal to another dimension that resembles the child's toy, according to Kessler's original Montauk outline. Number 2. Impact of a real life event. But there's one wrinkle that might help the Duffer Brothers. The short film is based on a real-life Montauk conspiracy theory concerning covert government paranormal research conducted at the station in the 1970s. Stranger Things was purportedly inspired by the same circumstances that inspired Kessler's film and went on to become a program rife with pop culture cliches. Number 3. Idea for a Script Kessler stated in his original April 2nd, 2018 filming that he offered the idea for Stranger Things to the Duffer Brothers during a 2014 Tribeca Film Festival party. To add to the account, the Montauk director reportedly said that he gave over the screenplay, concepts, plot, and film to the two not long after. According to Kessler's breach of implied contract lawsuit, the Duffer Brothers exploited his research to create the Netflix series, which was formerly known as The Montauk Project. Number 4. Identical Setting Montauk was the title of the Duffer Brothers' Netflix project when it was initially revealed in 2015. The project was similarly set on Long Island. It ultimately transferred to Indiana, with other parallels to Kessler's screenplay including a missing youngster, a neighboring military facility doing child experiments, and a creature from another dimension that appears like a toy. Number 5. Adapted from the Montauk Project the initial title of Stranger Things was Montauk, after a peaceful fishing community on Long Island's easternmost coast. Local legend has it that young boys were abducted and forced to participate in a variety of psychological and paranormal experiments on a nearby secret military base, including time travel, telekinesis, teleportation, and mind control. The 1992 book The Montauk Project Experiments in Time documents some of these studies. As does its independent film adaptation, Montauk Chronicles, released in 2014. Stranger Things is set in Hawkins, Indiana, a tiny fictitious town where the story revolves around strange disappearance of a 12-year-old local child called Will Byers. Number 6. Parallels with Reptoids The Montauk base's subterranean tube networks has long been said to be the home of the half-reptile monsters known as Reptoids as well as the perpetual prison of an interdimensional entity who is thought to have caused the experimentation's tragic death. Many top secret projects and unapproved experiments, including psychokinetic torture and cooperation with extraterrestrials, were alleged to be taking place inside the Montauk site. While the faceless, flesh-eating, upside-down world monster from Stranger Things isn't an identical duplicate of these cold-blooded tunnel dwellers, the show's bloodthirsty bastard does have one thing in common with Montauk's residents, scaly people, and dimension-hopping beast. All of them are scary. Number 7. Hero of the Camp The location of Montauk's very genuine clandestine military post, known as Fort Hero, alias Montauk Air Force Base, called Camp Hero, since the 1940s, can be traced all the way back to the Revolutionary War. It functioned as a crucial coastal defense position during World War II and the Cold War to repel prospective assaults or an air invasion of New York City by water, and it was purposefully disguised as a genuine fishing town to hide its fortifications from German U-boats and enemy ships. Its 754-acre grounds were declared a state park in 2002 and accessible to the public, while many areas of the property are still off-limits. The complex is scattered with aircraft hangars and artillery bunkers constructed into the sides of bluffs that are sealed off by concrete barriers, as well as an extensive network of underground tunnels. 
Its massive radar tower, visible from the surrounding region as well as the neighboring Montauk Lighthouse, is the most distinctive feature. Stranger Things mysterious U.S. Department of Energy-backed Hawkins National Laboratory, the site of bizarre scientific experiments involving human subjects, where 11 are held captive and forced to spy on the Russians, among other projects, has eerie similarities to Camp Hero, as well as the U.S. Department of Energy's very real Brookhaven National Laboratory, BNL, which is located about 60 miles west of the Montauk base. There will be more on BNL later. Number 8. Parallels with the Hawkins Lab in the aftermath of the episode, Brookhaven National Laboratory in Upton, New York may as well be called Hawkins Lab, since they have so many similarities. The US Department of Energy owns both of them. They're both shrouded in secrecy. They're both off limits to the general public and well guarded against intruders. True for the Camp Hero site as well, prior to its redesignation as a state park. More on that in another post. They both have mind-blowing facilities and technology that are basically rewriting what the scientific world knows about cosmic matter, the formation of the cosmos, nanoparticles, time, space, and so much more. Most significantly, for our purposes, both Hawkins Lab and BNL include an interdimensional portal vortex, or gate, as the Stranger Things team calls it. That's right, you read that accurately. Over the claim plagiarism, Kessler is seeking monetary damages as well as a jury trial. Alex Kohner, the Duffer Brothers lawyer, characterized Kessler's allegations as totally meritless. In a statement to the Press Association, he has nothing to do with Stranger Things conception or development, so it's unclear if Stranger Things is a stolen concept or not. We've reached the conclusion of this video. Let us know what you think in the comments area below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Take care and farewell till the next video.